que así empieza esto ya. Espera que me pino, me pino. <laughs> okay, I guess uh, it's ten past, it's five past ten, so we can eleven, sorry, so we can get started. Um, it's uh, our seminar speaker today is Beatriz Romeo. Beatriz is a PhD student. She's working uh, together with our own Javier Menendez and with Carlos Peña uh, and on the, I guess, subterranean lab in Canfranc. Uh, she's a member of the technical team of the next experiment. Uh, but at the same time, she's also doing a PhD looking at uh, um, interesting, I guess, correlations between observables in nuclear structure that can tell us something about a neutrino less double beta decay. Um, uh, Beatriz, it, it's her second talk today, so please be a bit patient with Beatriz. She'd like to have all the questions at the end of the talk rather than during the talk. Um, and I guess that's it. Uh, just take it away, Beatriz. Okay. Thank you so much, Arnau, for the, intro the introduction and also for giving me the opportunity to present this work that I have done in collaboration with Javier Menendez and Carlos Peña. As Arno said, I'm a PhD student from Donosti International Physics Center, and currently I, I'm working here at uh, Canfranc's underground lab. Oui. Uh, I want to start with a brief uh, uh, look at the past. It was in 1937 when Ettore Majorana proposed uh, a new way to represent fermions in a relativistic quantum field theory pointing out that this could be useful for describe uh, neutral particles. So a single Majorana quantum field uh, characterizes the situation in which uh, a particle and antiparticle coincide. Uh, it was, uh, uh, this theory was uh, immediately extended by Julio Raca, uh, who note that such a field could describe uh, massive neutrinos and saying that the the theory of, of Ettore Majorana leads to different physical predictions that, uh, that come from the Dirac theory. Two years later, uh, Wendell Farry, uh, within this scenario, proposed a, a, a new process similar to double beta disintegration that already had introduced, uh, introduced Ma Maria Kuiper Mayer, uh, but without the, the neutrino emission. As for the, the detection, um, Neutrino less, uh, uh, sorry, uh, there are uh, two main uh, approach that uh, can be followed. Uh, um, on, one, on one hand, we have the indirect detection uh, experiment that try to measure an abnormal uh, concentration of the doctor nuclei. And this was uh, the first experiment in give uh, uh, evidence of, of the two neutrino double beta decay in the 50s. And on the other hand, we have uh, the direct detection uh, continuous experiment that also measure uh, the, 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 two, the two electron uh, uh, spectrum. And the, the first evidence of this uh, type of experiment came in 1987 for selenium 82 uh, using a, a time, projection, time projection chamber. So the, motiv the motivation of this work is twofold. First, uh, a neutrino less double beta decay is uh, the most promising process to observe electron number violation in laboratory. And it discovery, uh, or it's, uh, yes, it discovery will, will show that, uh, as I said, that the, the neutrino is its own antiparticle. A part of the uh, information of the neutrino mass, it, could, it, it will open the door to models that are seeking to explain the matter-antimatter asymmetry in the universe. Uh, this uh, is a second order isobaric uh, nuclear transition where uh, two neutrons in the ground state of, of the parent nucleus uh, um, are transformed into two protons uh, in, the, in the doctor nuclei. And this, um, this process is detectable if uh, for for even even nuclei uh, in which the the single uh, beta decay to the uh, isobar with an additional uh, proton 
uh, is energetically forbidden, or at least um, strongly suppressed by a, a height um, change in the in the angular momentum. Um, another important uh, difference between these two channels is the energy spectrum of the of the two electrons. Uh, find a, a single uh, peak at the at the uh, q beta beta value for the neutrino solar beta decay and a continuous spectrum for the two neutrino mode. The lifetime of this decay can, can be expressed as, 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 as a product of these factors. Here we have the, the phase space uh, factor um, who, uh, that in principle, uh, uh, it, it, is it is calculable with a, a, a good um, or a height uh, uh, precision. We have here this parameter phi that uh, uh, represents symbolically the parameter of, of, of new physics that we would like to, to extract for, for the from the experiment. And in the case of the light uh, neutrinos chain, uh, it, given by, it, it is given by this uh, expression. And the other factor is the nuclear matrix element um, that depends on, on, the, on, the, on the physics uh, mechanisms that uh, is made, uh, mediated in this uh, transition. But independently of these, uh, of these mechanisms, it has uh, three, three components. These, these are the Fermi, the, the Fermi or vector, the tensor and the, the axial vector, which is the or gamma teller, which is the, the, domi the, the dominant part. Uh, however, this uh, nuclear matrix element is uh, the factor that brings the largest uh, uncertainties in the uh, double beta decay half lives. Um, in order to obtain um, a, a, a limit uh, from the uh, possible observation of this uh, decay, uh, we need to uh, know it more ac accurately. It is sensitive to the nuclear structure of the initial and final nuclear state, uh, nuclear uh, state, sorry. And although a significant progress has been achieved in the evaluation during the last decade, uh, still the most successful um, nuclear models disagree in their predictions by a factor two to three, being difficult uh, to quantify errors in a, really, uh, in a reliable way. Other approach with more controlled errors are being developed. Uh, however, these are not uh, these are not yet applicable uh, to heavy nuclear systems, where the majority of the of the beta beta isotope are 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 selected for neutrino lethal beta IK search. Uh, in the experimental side, the next generation of neutrino lethal beta IK experiments. I'm to cover the region of the of the parameter space above uh, 10 milli electron volts. This means that if the neutrino is uh, its own antiparticle and uh, the hierarchy of the neutrinos is invert, a, a positive signal will be will be observed. What I want to stress here is uh, a technical issue that is related with the mass of the beta beta isotope that is needed to be sensitive to a certain mass parameter, having in mind that the future, um, uh, the future experiment are planning to, con to construct Enton scale detectors. In the case of, um, of an experiment uh, with no background, which is uh, the ideal case, uh, the number of, of, of neutrino stable take events uh, is given by this equation. Then, an uncertainty of a factor three in the nuclear matrix element um, uh, gives uh, an uncertainty of an order of magnitude uh, for the mass of the beta beta isotope needed to cover the region of the parameter space uh, corresponding to the inverted hierarchy. So we need to, to, to improve this uncertainty that we have in, in the evaluation of the nuclear matrix element. Um, 
to plan uh, the target match of the experiments that are needed to, to, to reach a contained uh, mass parameter goal. It is complex, the choice of this uh, beta beta isotope and, and the experimental techniques. Um, between the, the things that are important, I, I mentioned the, the good uh, the experiment uh, need to have a good energy resolution, uh, also a uh, height de detection efficiency. The, that the isotope that you select for 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 your search uh, must uh, have a relatively high uh, natural isotopic ab abundance, and also that the, the background of the the background in, in the region of the Q beta, beta value uh, must be as, as low as possible. Another reason I have to be interested in, in this uh, problem is because I am part of the NEST experiment or NEST collaboration. Uh, this experiment is a high pressure xenon uh, 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 time projection chamber that is currently running at Canfranc's underground lab um the 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 xenon uh, 136 is uh, an attractive uh, candidate for neutrinos double dike search uh, for several reasons uh, among them the relatively high uh, q beta beta value that makes that it is uh, less affected by the ra radiative uh, ra radiative background event uh, also, it's relatively high uh, isotopic ab abundance. And another reason is because it provides uh, both a scintillation and ionization signals. So you can make uh, your, your, your detector with, so you can build uh, the, 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 the TPC using this uh, medium as uh, both as a source and a detector. A nice experiment in with um, uh, five kilos of 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 xenon uh, give this uh, uh, energy resolution and now is uh, currently running uh, with uh, ten kilograms uh, at ten bars. Uh, this is a high energy resolution, but uh, the good uh, thing of the nice experiment is that it also uh, provides. Um, it, it, it has also a, a good um, tracking capabilities that, uh, that give uh, a, a, topology, a topological signature to discriminate between uh, signal uh, events like this uh, Monte Carlo simulation for uh, two electrons. Um, and you can um, uh, different. Uh, separate this from the background uh, events that is a, a single electron. Uh, a preliminary uh, feed of, of the uh, current data give uh, this, um, this uh, half-life half for the two neutrino mode. And it is, it is expected that at the end of the current round or on, at the myth uh, of the energy R, um, they will uh, provide uh, uh, a better fit to their data and also give a, a limit to the uh, neutrino less double beta decay uh, half life. It is uh, expected to go to uh, 100 kilograms uh, by the end of next year. And between uh, other plans uh, for the detector is. Uh, go to a phase in which uh, in which the the the, uh, the photomultipliers uh, will be replaced with uh, silicon photomultipliers uh, to re to reduce the, the background and but also the the, the background uh, that they have now is also quite uh, uh, low other uh, um, option for this uh, detector in the future um, uh, will be or could, uh, will be the the use of the barium tagging technique uh, using a single molecule uh, flu fluorescent uh, imaging, um, but uh, this is uh, now today uh, it is uh, only applicable for uh, uh, 
not in the in the current um, gas uh, and and detector um, structure now. Uh, coming back to the theory, there are other approach uh, to look at this uh, problem of the nuclear matrix element elements, such as the uh, search of observables that are linked in some way to neutrino stable beta decay. Uh, although not necessarily very mediate by the same interaction. In this uh, direction, uh, double char chain re reactions were proposed. Uh, these um, are uh, also a uh, second order isobaric uh, nuclear transitions where, the, where both the initial and final states are the same as in neutrino stable beta decay, but the, and also, sorry, the, the transition operators are similar. Uh, uh, recently, uh, Smith, who, um, Menendez, he, he, and Jaco uh, saw a good linear uh, co correlation between the double gamma stellar transition to the ground state uh, of the final nucleus and the neutrino stable beta decay uh, matrix elements. This uh, correlation is, um, they observed that this correlation is uh, mainly. Uh, do, do it to, to the disorder range uh, correlation of both operators. Uh, what is interesting uh, also is that this uh, correlation is also present in other uh, nuclear model, or sorry, in two different nuclear models. And also that inside the nuclear cell model, it is uh, uh, present for different uh, nuclear interactions. Uh, so, one can um, one can think in this uh, type of correlation as a uh, way to constrain the, the nuclear matrix element of, of neutrino stable beta decay by measuring this other uh, 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 nuclear transition um, that could be more, me, uh, be more more accessible. However, the double charge chain reaction uh, well, sorry. However, uh, this double gamma transition is also uh, a big challenge because it uh, represents a small fraction of the total strength and because it is uh, emitted by the strong interaction. But there are experiments that are aimed to measure these, uh, these double gamma teller uh, transitions. This uh, opened the question of looking into other, other second order uh, transition. Uh, in this case, we we have um, we have uh, uh, studied uh, the second order uh, electromagnetic transitions guided by the by the by the similarity between the the double the, the magnetic uh, dipole operator and the, the gamma teller one because both have the uh, this uh, spin uh, isospin uh, uh, term. But in the case of the uh, in the case of the uh, gamma transition, we we don't uh, the, the initial state is not is is not the, the ground state of the beta beta parent nucleus, but instead, as I will uh, uh, comment uh, later, it is a double isobaric analog state. So we are interested in a process in which uh, a nuclei in a seated state uh, goes to a ground state by the, by the um, simultaneous emission of two photons. To describe this process, we need to know the, the, uh, the interaction Hamiltonian and following Friar, we can write it as these uh, two terms, one linear uh, term uh, that, uh, in which we have the, the current, the nuclear current operator, and other in which we have this, uh, what is called in the literature as the Seagull operator. Using uh, perturbation theory, one, um, one uh, find that the, the first uh, order contribution to the, to the scattering matrix comes from this uh, Seagull operator and that it gives rise to the, to the contact amplitude. And in the second order um, term, we have this uh, 
other um, uh, transition. So this gives you the, the, the resonant amplitude. Doing a, a bit, of, a bit uh, of algebra, one reads this uh, expression, and it is at this point when it is um, uh, with this good uh, to introduce the, the, the multipolar expansion for the photon field, and this is done using the uh, using the, the Landau gauge uh, because it simplifies the results in the long uh, wave approximation, which is a good, uh, good approximation in the range of energies we are working with. And in this approximation, the, the only uh, non null uh, components of these uh, of these multiples are the electric, uh, sorry, are the scalar component for the electric multiples and the vector components for the magnetic ones. So if we introduce this uh, multipolar expansion into the amplitude, uh, after uh, some algebra, one find um, an expression for the transition amplitude that uh, contains a purely uh, geometrical factor that we ha I, I have not written here, and the dynamical part that is the one that I have written here. If we, uh, um, in, uh, if we uh, assume that the nucleus uh, as a collection of non-relativistic point like uh, nucleons with charged and magnetic moments. And also remember remembering that the, the only non-null components are the, this one. We finally get to this uh, expression for the electric uh, magnetic uh, multiple, multiples. Uh, for the contact amplitude, uh, the, the, the uh, the analysis is uh, similar, uh, assuming the, uh, also the point like in nucleons approximation and in considering that is uh, that is a purely local interaction without the, the chain currents, one find this um, this expression that well the only non 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 null com components of this uh, contact uh, operator are the spatial uh, ones. So at the end. We, we only have uh, the magnetic multiples uh, that contribute uh, into this uh, transition amplitude. And one important observation here is that uh, this is like a one body operator. So we are uh, interested in, 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 in In a study, uh, uh, transition as close as possible as the as the one that, that uh, have in neutrinos that beta decay. So, um, from parity and angular momentum conserva conservation, we have that the the only um, the that the, the resonant amplitude we have uh, either um, two uh, um, two uh, magnetic multiples of the same order or uh, two electric multiples uh, again of the same order. For the contact amplitude, we already had only uh, the magnetic multiples, but this time we they must uh, have the same multipolar order. An important uh, observation here is that the the resonant uh, the resonant term is uh, is proportional to uh, this. Uh, this uh, expression, and so it's, this means that uh, statistically, the, the the photons are emitted um, most of the time with the same energy. So this uh, allows us to write the energy denominator as uh, uh, as this uh, equation, which is uh, quite simple, quite simple because it depends only on 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 the sorry on the nuclear energies. Of the states involved, uh, this is a, a good approximation when the, the the gap of energy between the, the initial and final state is uh, quite less compared with the, the the transition between the initial state uh, into the intermediate state. There are also a hierarchy between the the contact and the resonant amplitude, but 
uh, this is only a uh, uh, order of magnitude uh, estimation. So essentially what we have is a uh, one body reduced matrix element or product, product of two of them. And in occupation number representation, the evaluation of these nuclear matrix elements uh, is given by this expression where we have the cope here, the part that, that uh, characterize the, the, money, uh, the money nucleon properties of the initial and, and final states and do not know uh, much of the, of the transition operator more than its uh, one, uh, uh, one body character. And we have here the part that is analytical and that could contain the physics uh, physic of this uh, transition operator. So um, we want to, uh, as I have said before, we want to uh, study um, double, gamma, uh, double gamma transition uh, as close as possible as, as, as neutrino is all beta EK. So we, we, we want to analyze this uh, double magnetic dipole uh, resonant amplitude. And uh, this is uh, done taking as the initial state, this uh, double isobaric state uh, of the ground state of the parent nucleus and, and the, the ground state of the, of the, of course, of the, of the nuclei that undergoes, the, undergoes this double uh, gamma decay. To connect both uh, states with uh, two uh, magnetic dipole operators, we only, uh, do that we only we can only do that by uh, taking this the isovector component um, with the set, with the exception of the mirror nuclei where we can uh, include the the isoscalar component but this type of transition and are not uh, relevant for uh, the beta beta decay the microscopic treatment of the nucleus requires to solve the, the Schrodinger equation. And in nuclear cell model, uh, the, this, um, instead of, of sol solving the, 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 the nuclear, the, sorry, the, the Schrodinger equation, the nuclear in the full, with a full uh, nuclear Hamiltonian in the complete many body Hilbert space, uh, we restrict or we restrict uh, the dynamics into uh, a small, uh, uh, a limited uh, space configuration, which or or balanced space, and then one use uh, an effective interactions in such a way that the, the observables of the of the the observables are are, are reproduced. In all our calculation, we have uh, used the Antoine cell code. This is an, uh, an M scheme cell model code where the Slater determinants are or have uh, a good total spin on isospin uh, projection numbers, but not of the, spin, of the total spin and isospin. This has the, the drawback that the, the, the dimension of the space is maximum, but uh, but the, the, the matrices are sparse and easy to diagonalize using the, the, Lang the Langfox uh, algorithm. There are uh, several approaches to obtain this uh, uh, effective interaction. Among them, we have used the, the empirical or phenomenological interaction where the two body matrix elements and the single particle energies um, have been uh, iteratively fitted to reproduce the, the experimental low energy spectra of the nucleus in, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the region of, of this uh, valence space. Uh, uh, here I saw uh, the different isotope uh, that I have used, uh, I have uh, evaluated this double gamma decay and uh, and the different uh, model space in which they lie, and also the different interactions that uh, that uh, have been used. And as you can see, at least there are for each nuclei 
two different interactions. The, the step that uh, have been followed to, to obtain this uh, double gamma uh, or double magnetic dipole resonant uh, uh, matrix element are first, we, we have obtained the ground state of the beta beta uh, parent nucleus. Then we have rotated it uh, twice in the isospin space. Uh, we have uh, uh, changed two neutrons into two, two protons. And then we are, we we have obtained the ground state of the of the of the nucleus that undergoes the undergoes this uh, double gamma decay, and uh, and as a fourth step, we 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 have obtained all the set of the intermediate states, and this is done. Uh, or this has been done uh, using the Lanthos strength function. Taking as the as a pivot or this initial normalized vector for the Lanthos algorithm, um, the vector acting uh, uh, um, by the action of this uh, isovector double uh, dipole, sorry, this uh, isovector um, dipole uh, magnetic dipole operator on the ground state, and um, this uh, assures us that the, all the, the intermediate states that we have uh, obtained had uh, the good uh, uh, quantum numbers. And finally, we, we have obtained all the, the density uh, transition matrix for each uh, one of these uh, intermediate states. The step that one will follow to obtain the, the, the contact uh, a matrix element for this uh, decay uh, will be the same, but uh, sin, 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 it is a, um, a, a one body operator. It's a tensor structure of, in the isospin space uh, could not uh, connect uh, both the state. And it's for this reason that the, the, the nuclear matrix element is uh, quite small. I would like to, to, uh, to note here that the, res uh, the result that we have obtained, um, we have used the, the, the bare or, or the free nucleon uh, G factors. I uh, so here uh, the the experiment uh, the uh, the calculated uh, uh, magnetic uh, dipole moment using these uh, uh, free factors for uh, two different interactions. And um, and they uh, compare with the experimental values, and as you can see, there are a good agreement between this uh, uh, calculated and experimental uh, magnetic moment. So it's for the reason that we have uh, used as a first approach this uh, free value. But now I am currently uh, running this uh, the same. Uh, 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 evaluation using this quenching uh, factor. Uh, I want to uh, show you here uh, the evolution of the of the uh, double magnetic dipole uh, resonant uh, uh, matrix element and also uh, the 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 double magnetic uh, dipole without the energy denomina denominator as a function of the number of intermediate states that we we introduce uh, or, or or increase in the in the in the computation uh, in this case we can also um, uh, calculate the the exact value assuming the the closure relation and uh, the main uh, oh sorry and this uh, exact closure uh, value uh, can be used as a criteria of, of good uh, convergence, uh, being the errors, uh, the relative errors of uh, around 1%. Another important uh, observation here is that uh, we need uh, a few or uh, a small number of, of intermediate states to get uh, the, 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 the correct value. Here, uh, I saw uh, exactly the same, but 
uh, in, instead of uh, as a function of the, of the number of intermediate state, as a function of the energy of the intermediate states. Uh, and we see here in that set lines, the, the accumulate value. The important uh, uh, observation here is that we have uh, a few states that uh, uh, contribute uh, to the total uh, matrix element. As a way to improve the, the result, we, we have uh, done an energy correction of, 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 of the energies in the denominator by using the, the, the experimental values. Of course, the, the ideal case will be to know the, the intermediate, uh, the first uh, set of the state, or intermediate state, sorry, and the double isobaric uh, analog state energy of, of the initial state. But this is not uh, the case in, in, in any of the nuclei uh, we have studied. In the best uh, case we have found is in uh, titanium 48, where there, there is a, a, a experimental value for this uh, double isobaric uh, analog state. And also for the six, uh, which is uh, the ground state of the intermediate um, nucleus. And the important uh, observation here is that uh, uh, the, the correction to the matrix elements is uh, small. And this is because the, 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 the quote uh, evaluate uh, quite well or the, the energies of, or the energy difference in the, in the, in the evaluation. Uh, the usual situation is not uh, this one, but uh, also the, the, the main assumption is that the, the, this energy correction is uh, give us a, a, a good uh, a good uh, understanding of the operator. I uh, saw so here the nuclear matrix element of, of this uh, double gamma decay, or double magnetic uh, dipole, uh, dipole uh, decay. Uh, for all these uh, nuclei in these different uh, um, interactions, as a function of the of the neutrinos double beta decay uh, nuclear matrix element, for the same nuclei. As you can see here, there are two main groups, uh, one with a higher slope and more spread, which correspond to the nuclei that uh, are in the PF uh, cell uh, space. And uh, this other that is less spread and with uh, a minor slope, which correspond to the nuclei that are in the GDES and PFG uh, cells. Uh, a way to improve this is uh, to look in, into the uh, tensor structure of these uh, both uh, uh, operators. Both uh, have the same uh, rank in the tensor uh, uh, space, but with different isospin uh, projection uh, numbers because electromagnetic transition uh, do not change the, the, the isospin uh, projection, but the electroweak uh, uh, transition does do. If we apply the wigner car theorem to this as, as spin space, we can factorize out the part that uh, depend on the project, uh, projection uh, quantum numbers from the um, from the ones that uh, contain the, the the physical information that is uh, carried out by the the wave function and the observable. The observable. Uh, introducing uh, or this, uh, this uh, gives us a, a, a spin isospin uh, correction factor, the, which is essentially a, 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 a fraction of a product of Clis-Gordan coefficients. If, if we introduce this in, the, in our uh, matrix element, we see that the, the spread has uh, uh, diminished, diminished uh, but we still have uh, two main uh, or two different uh, slopes. And which is uh, behind this uh, different behavior is the energy uh, denominator for the dominant energy uh, state. As I have uh, sound uh, in uh, some 
slides uh, before. There are a few states that dominate this uh, double magnetic dipole operator. And if we define this uh, uh, dominant energy denominator as the one that, uh, or, or the one that corresponds to the, to the uh, state that has uh, the maximum of this uh, double magnetic dipole uh, uh, operator, and we represent them as, as a function of the atomic, uh, uh, sorry, as the mass uh, number, we can uh, do a qualitative analysis and make an um, uh, convenient mean of, the, of these uh, uh, dominant energy denominators for the, uh, the nuclei that lies in these uh, cells. And Oh, and uh, compute this over the, 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 the dominant energy denominator for the, the atoms, uh, the nuclei, sorry, in the PF cell. And we obtain this, this value. If we uh, do a, a separate fit of this, of this uh, linear fit, sorry, for this uh, uh, separate data, we and compute and uh, evaluate this fraction of, of the uh, slopes we obtain nearly the same um, value. This uh, qualitatively shows us that the, the, main, uh, uh, the main reason of having this uh, uh, different slope is because of the energy, of the energy denominator of the, of the dominant states. Another way of, of, of see this is by only um, analyzing this uh, double magnetic dipole operator without the energy. And as you can see, all the nuclei for, uh, lies in the same uh, correlation. Uh, I have no shown uh, because I, I, I didn't find the, 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 the plot uh, that this, uh, the correlation of the spin part is even better than the, the one that we have in the total operator. And but still, we have a good uh, correlation in the total operator, and we want to be, to see uh, what is happening. If we uh, uh, plot the different contribution to this um, to the exact value of this uh, double dipole magnetic uh, operator, we we observe that uh, the the orbital part is uh, relevant, uh, and in most of the case, it has the same order and sign that the spin part. In the case of the baryon isotope uh, uh, nuclei, sorry, uh, the the orbital component is uh, is is a uh, height, but still uh, it lies in the in the correlation, but a, a bit over over the general trend. And this behavior is, is systematic for all the other nuclei that we, ha that we have analyzed. Another um, useful uh, um, information came from the, the, the analysis of the, of the matrix element uh, as a function of the, the or it's uh, the composition uh, uh, of the of the uh, momentum and parity to which are coupled the both uh, neutrons are pro or and, and protons. Um, we have uh, we see here that the the spin part is uh, the dominant contribution for the the total angular momentum of zero and and two, like it uh, um, and as as it uh, happens in, in the neutrino star beta decay, uh, there is a strong, uh, a strong uh, cancellation in this, uh, in this spin uh, part. So as a summary, uh, we have uh, observed a good uh, correlation between the neutrino star beta decay matrix elements and, and the, the double magnetic uh, dipole uh, uh, matrix element for a large uh, number of, of, of nuclei in different uh, uh, configuration space and with different or using different uh, nuclear 
effective nuclear interactions. We have uh, seen that the nuclei in the PF cell are, uh, have a, a different as, uh, have cor a correlation, but in with uh, with a different slope that the the nuclei in the PFG and GDS uh, model space, but we have understand uh, qualitatively this uh, this uh, behavior uh, by the 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 different energy uh, uh, denominators of the dominant uh, intermediate states. Um, this uh, correlation is also present, uh, although the spin part is not uh, the always the, the, the dominant uh, contribution. And mainly, uh, this is because the orbital part is of the same order and sign that is a spin part. Also, an, uh, a multipolar decomposition of this operator has shown that the spin contribution is dominant, but uh, it also has the, stronger, the stronger, strongest cancellation. Uh, different different uh, measurement of the second order electromagnetic uh, decays has been done in, in these uh, uh, transitions where the single gamma decay is, is uh, forbidden. But uh, recently, a competitive uh, double gamma decay with competitive with uh, the for which this uh, single uh, gamma decay is not, uh, is, it is allowed, uh, has been also observed. Um, and yeah, the, 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 this, maybe this uh, correlation could be used to constrain uh, the nuclear, the neutrino K nuclear matrix element from measurements of this double, double gamma decay with the advantage that we can uh, uh, do uh, these experiments search in in more uh, nuclei, and that's it. Thank you. All right. Thank you. <clears throat> thank you very much, uh, Beatriz. This was an extremely interesting talk uh, and delivered on time, uh, and also you know very clearly. So I, I was. Um, thank you very much. Are there any questions from the audience? If, if there are, just unmute yourselves and ask the questions. If, well, uh, I, have, I have a question. Hi, Beatriz. I mean, maybe it's an experimental question, so if you don't know it, no problem. Hmm? OK. Uh, OK. Uh, I just, it's a curiosity. Uh, when in order to detect uh, this uh, neutrinoless double beta decay, mm -hmm. what do they, they do? Do they measure two electrons in coincidence with the total energy equal to this uh, Q value? Or, 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 or because you show some pictures of some tracks, and yes. I don't, I didn't understand those pictures. Sorry. Right? Yes, they 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 both uh, measure the track of the particles. And the energy, uh, the total energy of these uh, of these events in the detector. Okay, and when the energy is this uh, particular value, and the track is uh, kind of more wiggly than the other, more wiggly, then this is the the signature of this type of event, right? Yeah, the, the signature is just uh, this. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, this is a simulation; is not a a, a real uh, a real event, but you have two blob that at, at the end of the drag, the electrons uh, or the particles and um, uh, deposit more energy. And yes. Mm -hmm. You have a higher energy deposition in the, in the end of the drag. Mm -hmm. For, and a common vertex. And in the case of a background event with only one electron, you don't have a, a blob, a energy blob in one of the extreme. Ah, OK. OK. Thank you. You're welcome. Gracias. Uh, I have a question, if I may. Uh, Go ahead, Tomas. OK, so first of all, thank you for the nice presentation and, and the talk. Uh, so I have a, um, did you um, check uh, the norm overlap between the, this uh, double isobaric uh, states with the, with the final state? Because uh, I want, uh, I'd like to see a um, simple explanation why you have this um, um, proportionality. 
because I mean, so uh, on, uh, why should be uh, proportional those matrix elements in, uh, from first place? And maybe the norm is giving you some hint. I don't, I don't uh, compute uh, the norm of, of the overlap of these, uh, uh, these states. But uh, the way we go, I think the, 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 the reason because you have this correlation is uh, the, 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 the spin, uh, the, the spin uh, part of this operator is similar to the, the gamma teller uh, term. Mm -hmm. Thomas and is the, asking about the wave functions. Okay. Yeah. Because uh, I mean, so the the, the initial and final states here in the double gamma is uh, so the initial is not the initial nucleo, uh, the initial state of the of the uh, of the neutrino is double beta decay emitter. Mm -hmm. okay, no? yeah, is there? You can maybe you can remind Thomas how you obtain the double isobaric analog state from the. Yes. Maybe you can remind this part. Because it is obtained from from the, from that state, right? So it's just with the, the rotation in isostein. I exactly. So so it's basically we can. Right. So it's basically uh, since uh, the interactions we are using are isospin symmetric, it's basically exactly the same state. Uh huh. Okay. With the same energy. Okay. Uh -huh. The differences uh, are not coming from the wave functions because the wave functions are basically the same. Uh, but the yeah, difference the difference is only is only the isospin projections, so number of protons and neutrons. Mm -hmm. So all the nuclear correlations are the same. Uh -huh. Okay, great. Thank you very much. Thank you. Um, uh... There is a nice talk uh, and something is happening here. Do you hear me? Yeah, yeah, no, 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 yes. Okay, now? Yeah. Okay, pues, uh, congratulations, it's a very nice work. Thank you. And, uh, and uh, in a sense, the, the point of trying to get all the references is very important. Uh, in in view of this uh, of this extremely scattered plot that uh, people including Javier <laughs> used to present with the with this scattering and this uh, spread of the nuclear matrix elements this famous ah. this i would say this infamous in my opinion factor 2 3 uh uh, if you, well, uh, I don't know, uh, probably a week ago, Jason Hall presented some new results of the, well, it's so, so, uh, so long, the, uh, the acronym, Valence Space in Medium Similarity Renormalization Group Results for uh, heavier nuclei, including, including almost uh, at least the germanium and selenium. And as I was mentioning to Javier, uh, all, this is, all these nuclear matrix elements uh, go slowly uh, in the direction of the nuclear, uh, of the shell model ones. Mm -hmm. So as uh, the evolution in time, of this plot uh, is that many of these points are dead uh, mm -hmm. already. Most of the of the big points of the big values are already uh, dead. And Tomas and Javier did uh, work that explain, for instance, that the not taking into account the isoscalar pairing which is the case in many, in most of the other approaches, has a very, a very clear impact. Huh? And if you introduce that, the matrix elements are reduced and go in the direction of the smaller values that you get with the cell model. So in a sense, 
uh, wanted just to mention that probably the spread uh, uh, that is presented in this uh, in these plots is in reality much smaller. It's not a factor of two, three. I will say that fifty percent uh, will be more sensible. Sorry, I I didn't know that. Sorry. Well, you you have no reason to know that. It's just a comment for the. For, uh, for all of us, no? It's... But, but Alfredo, if you don't put the, the large numbers, then the, the, this will be hopeless for the experimentalists. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm very sorry about that. <laughs> yeah, maybe, maybe Beatriz, maybe Beatriz can, can give us some feedback on what next would think if the matrix element is only the smaller ones. Beatriz, how do you think people in the collaboration would take this? Yes. Mm -hmm. If I can, if, if you can show, if you can uh, probably, if you can center a little bit your plot, you will see that this, uh, if you go to, to the, the important one for, for, for next, which is Sinon, and Sinon the spread is much smaller. Can you show it? Uh, probably, let me, if you, if you go to, to the, uh, to seen on 136, huh? mm -hmm. you see that uh, the uh, the results cluster huh? much better around the uh, this black dot. So, is if you uh, what is this blue stuff? Uh, yeah, except for Thomas and Jan Ming's yeah. blue points, the other yeah, yeah, people. this is the point. But this is. This uh, probably is understood. Yeah? This no, this is, this no? is we, have, we have problems in in um, uh, describing uh, double uh, so magic nuclei and so on. So no, I that's think, uh, but that was uh, was uh, answered into now that in 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 the next case, well, things are much you, you, you see, yeah. Uh, that this is uh, the spread is is much less huh? around. So it's, uh, the situation is more complicated in in Germany, for instance, where really there 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 are two the the results are clustered in in two groups, huh? one a small and one big. Huh? But this is not so much the case for the other. Well, it's just giving a bit of hope and also a bit of confidence in the in our approaches. Is that we are? I think we now understand better why uh, why the results are different. And indeed, some of the quasi-particle RPA that play the field are too big is understood. Uh, because uh, these approaches do not take into account uh, an important part of the correlations, which uh, tend to reduce the matrix element. That's just, just a, a comment for the audience. Thank you, Alfredo. Um, Thank you. I think I had another co uh, another a quick question for you, Beatrice. I think it's also one of these unfair questions because your theoretical part was so clearly explained that I don't really have many questions there. Um, of course, I think eventually your approach relies on measuring the double gamma transition as well uh, experimentally somehow, right? Um, and, you know, as, as you've um, clearly explained as well, there's not many data for this because, of course, I suppose it's difficult to, dis to distinguish between a prompt to gamma decay and uh, successive but very short um, sequential gamma decay. Uh, is, is there something, I mean, uh, are there any hopes experimentally in that direction or are you, uh, do you know of any experiments that are um, going on? I, I know you listed one in your slide. Yeah. But uh, until, until now there is no experiment uh, construct, contrasted, constructed, mm -hmm. that uh, 
want to measure the double isobaric uh, transition of, uh, to the ground state. All the are the, the first. Uh, and, yeah. and it's difficult. Uh, I, I don't think in the in 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 the experimental implementation of this uh, study, but I I would like to. But that now the the single gamma and the double gamma in this reference in there, this is an experiment performed in Darmstadt mm -hmm. by Pietrala's group. They were yeah. able to, to to distinguish between the single gamma and the double gamma in this particular transition uh, because of yeah because of the timing of their detector basically. Right. Okay. So in principle, this has been done at least once. So the technology is, is part of the technology is there. Okay, that's good. Yeah, but, but preparing the, the, the initial state of that uh, must be the double isobaric analog state, I don't think, I don't, I don't know if, if it is uh, easy or not to do. Yeah, this is a challenge for experimentalists. <laughs> this is a <laughs> yeah. uh, uh, Yes, Thomas, yes, yes. State, yes. No? Okay. Yes. All right. Well, um, thank you very much. Thank you very much, Beatriz, uh, for the talk, and thank you everybody else for attending. Uh, I think this is our last seminar of the season. The next one uh, is going to be in the new year. Um, I think it's the 14th of January, the first one, and it will be our own, or not anymore our own, but Xavier Rocamaza. Uh, telling us about, also about isobaric analog states, I think so, at some point. Good, all right. Um, I guess uh, until next time. Yeah, thank you very much. Bye. 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 Bye.